program to make spheral roll in a square. You can try this on your own without the video or follow along here for a step-by-step -step guide. A square is a regular polygon where all sides are the same length and all internal angles are equal to 90 degrees. So this is an easy shape to start with. To start, Click the Program Canvas button in the upper right to link a new program to this activity. Name it Square. Choose the Blocks Program Type and select the robot you are using. Before you get started, it's helpful to know you can long press any block on mobile or right click on a Chromebook, Mac, or Windows computer to get a hint of what it does and what units it's measured in. Some blocks have a Learn More button that links to our programming wiki where you can find out how the JavaScript code works. Feel free to explore the various blocks to get a sense for what's available. For your square, you will start here in the Movements category. Movements is where you will find the blocks that control Sphero's motors and different ways to move. For the square, you will start with a Roll block. Add one Roll block to the canvas for the first side of the square by dragging it below the start block, and making sure that it links together. The roll block has three values you can edit. Sphero sees the world in degrees, and heading is the angle you want Sphero to roll at. Zero degrees is straight ahead, assuming you have aimed the robot. Choose zero degrees so your square starts by rolling straight forward. Speed is how fast Sphero moves and is measured on a scale of zero to 255. Choose a moderate speed of 60 using the speed slider. If you tap on the number, you can directly input the value. Duration, or delay, is how long you want Sphero to roll for and is measured in seconds. The longer the duration, the bigger the square will be. Choose one second. Now you need three more roll blocks for the remaining three sides of the square. To save time, you can duplicate the first block by long pressing or right clicking the first roll block and select Duplicate. You can repeat this two more times. Each side will have the same delay and speed as the first roll block. The only variable you need to change on these blocks is the heading angle so that Sphero turns around each corner. Your second block will be 90 degrees or to the right. The third block will be 180 degrees, or backward. And the fourth block will be 270 degrees, or to the left. Time to run the program. Place your Sphero on the ground, tap the aim ring in the upper right, then move the ring around until the blue taillight on Sphero faces you. Now press start to see your square. What do you notice about the square? It looks like it has four sides, but the turns were rounded instead of 90 degrees like you programmed. You can also see this from the location sensor data that appears when you run a program. To view the sensor data after running your program, tap the overflow button in the upper right and choose sensor data. You can see the path Sphero traveled here, but it looks like you need to make a change to give the square sharp corners. To fix this, you need to add a short delay after each roll command so that the robot comes to a stop before starting the next side. In the controls category, grab a delay block and drop one after each roll block and set it to one second. Your program should now look like this. Now, when you run the program, the robot should create a successful square with sharper corners. Congratulations on creating a great program! Now, take a look at that text code for this program. Click the Overflow button and tap JavaScript Code. Here is the actual code that you wrote with your blocks, and it's what the app streams over Bluetooth to communicate to the robot.